July 25th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 85 and 86 from the Old Testament. O Lord, you showed favor to your land. You restored the well-being of Jacob. You pardoned the wrongdoing of your people. You forgave all their sin. Selah. You withdrew all your fury. You turned back from your raging anger. Restore us, O God, our deliverer. Do not be displeased with us. Will you stay mad at us forever? Will you remain angry throughout future generations? Will you not revive us once more? Then your people will rejoice in you. O Lord, show us your loyal love. Bestow on us your deliverance. I will listen to what God the Lord says, for he will make peace with his people, his faithful followers, yet they must not return to their foolish ways. Certainly his loyal followers will soon experience his deliverance, then his splendor will again appear in our land. Loyal love and faithfulness meet. Deliverance and peace greet each other with a kiss. Faithfulness grows from the ground and deliverance looks down from the sky. Yes, the Lord will bestow his good blessings and our land will yield its crops. Deliverance goes before him and prepares a pathway for him. Listen, O Lord, answer me, for I am oppressed and needy. Protect me, for I am loyal. O my God, deliver your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord. For I cry out to you all day long. Make your servant glad, for to you, O Lord, I pray. Certainly, O Lord, you are kind and forgiving and show great faithfulness to all who cry out to you. O Lord, hear my prayer. Pay attention to my plea for mercy. In my time of trouble, I cry out to you, for you will answer me. None can compare to you among the gods, O Lord. Your exploits are incomparable. All the nations whom you created will come and worship you, O Lord. They will honor your name. For you are great and do amazing things. You alone are God. O Lord, teach me how you want me to live. Then I will obey your commands. Make me wholeheartedly committed to you. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks with my whole heart. I will honor your name continually. For you will extend your great loyal love to me and will deliver my life from the depths of Sheol. O oh God, arrogant men attack me. A gang of ruthless men who do not respect you seek my life. But you, O oh Lord, are a compassionate and merciful God. You are patient and demonstrate great loyal love and faithfulness. Turn toward me and have mercy on me. Give your servant your strength. Deliver your slave. Show me evidence of your favor. Then those who hate me will see it and be ashamed. For you, O oh Lord, will help me and comfort me. God, I was just reading in one of my commentaries about this first Psalm, Psalm 85, and where it talks about, I will listen to what the God, the Lord says, for he will make peace with his people, his faithful followers, yet they must not return to their foolish ways. In my other version, it says uh, their ways of folly. Um, and the commentary says the people who are appealing to God's benevolence should make sure their repentance is genuine and that they really do aim for faithfulness and really intend not to repeat the folly. In parentheses, it says moral stupidity that provoked God's anger. And I, <laughs> I seriously was cracking up God because, yeah, that's me. Moral stupidity. I... I'm foolish, I uh, go the ways of folly, but yeah, moral stupidity is a better label for, for the choices I make. It is amazing to me that you offer me this incredible world and these amazing paths and things that are things I couldn't even imagine ever coming into my life, and yet I choose the sinful ways. Um, case in point, you have brought into my life right now an amazing person. Um, I didn't even know a person like this could exist. A uh, man of God who seeks you first, who prays about me and worries about me. And 
it's just kind of amazing. And I know all the things that you did in my life to get me to this point, all the things you took away, all the things that you slapped my hand about, all the, all the moral stupidity things I kept choosing. You kept going, no, I, I have something better for you. I have something better for you. No, really, <laughs> I have something better for you. A and now that this amazing person that you've brought into my life under the umbrella of so many miracles to even get us to have this chance of meeting. Now that this amazing person and friend is in my life, I still choose moral stupidity. Here's this amazing blessing that, of something I've never even knew was possible before. And yet I still choose to do stupid things in that relationship. I still choose to get angry. I still choose to choose my ego over their feelings. I still choose to um, disrespect them. And, and even though it's not intentional, like I'm not intentionally setting out to be mean to them, boy, when you start listing all the sins in my life, the moral stupidity sins, it, it seems very intentional. Um, it's sure, it's sure provoking a result that isn't good. And it's definitely not what you want, especially on top of such an amazing blessing that you gave me. So God, I go back to the psalm and I just pray for everyone listening on this video today. I will listen to what the God, what God the Lord says. Because it's only then that you will make peace with us. That you will help make me strong to be a faithful follower. God, I love you, but I, I fall into moral stupidity all the time. And, and I receive as a consequence your anger and your discipline all the time. A and rightly so. I'm not arguing that point in the slightest. But God, I, I want to be such a better person for you. I want to reflect who you are, not who I am <laughs> at all. God, I pray for everyone listening to this video today that, that they would always seek that. That what you tell us to do in your word that we would seek that word daily, that we would be in your word daily, that we would be reading your word daily, and then we would be communicating with you. To me, it's a relationship, so I'm constantly talking to you. For other people, it's more of a formalized prayer, but whatever it is, I know that you listen. You've promised us that. God, I am trying to turn away from my foolish ways, my moral stupidity, but I can't do it without you. It is only through your strength, through your grace, and through your forgiveness of my choices that I can even move forward. And already with the prayers that I have turned over to you, have I seen a change in my heart starting to happen. And God, I just ask for that to continue more and more and more. And for the people listening to this video today, God, I just ask the same for them, that whatever is being morally stupid to them whatever they keep choosing over and over again which they know they shouldn't do but yet they still do it as though they are a two-year-old child who's been told no and yet that person goes and does it again and again that you would just provide all of us the strength and we know that you provide us a way out and in, in each of those situations i ask that you just help us find that way out we always know it's there we're just blinded by what we want, what we egotistically want and demand in the moment. God, help us to always seek what you want first. That it is always your will that we seek. In doing your will, we get to glorify you by our lives reflecting you, not us. In your son's name I pray. Amen.